Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today, I'm at Zaleski State Forest and I'm on the bike path that runs through Moonville Tunnel. I'm actually on the side slope of the old railroad bed and it's probably 25 feet or so high. It's pretty steep, almost 100% slope and a little unstable. So hopefully you don't get to witness me sliding down the slope here. But I came out here to introduce you to this wonderful specimen of Eastern burning bush. It's also called Wahoo or Eastern Wahoo. It's one of my favorite common names. It's just fun to say Wahoo. So again, this is Eastern burning bush, Euonymus atropurpureus. Again, a native shrub that is wonderful. To identify it, first thing you're gonna notice, the leaves are opposite. So they're gonna be in pairs. Wherever we have one, we're going to have one on the opposite side of the twig. Uh, the leaves are elliptical. They can be four inches plus in length, and they're very narrow with a very finely toothed edge. You have to look very closely to see that margin. That's the teeth on the margin. A lot of times I like to lay it on like a white piece of paper or something to be able to help you see that edge of the leaf. Leaves will turn a pinkish or reddish color in the fall. Probably not as brilliant as our non-native cousin, the winged euonymus, but it puts on a nice fall show with the foliage. Twigs are green, they're very fine out on the tip and they stay green for several years. Actually, even on the main trunk further back, you're gonna oftentimes see a little bit of green. The twigs also will often form almost squarish appearance to them. They'll have some white lines that run down the edges of the twig, giving it that squarish appearance. This one was much more vertical. They're typically a multi-stem shrub but for some reason it got knocked over, possibly in some of the work with the uh, bike path here or just a tree falling on it. But we're pretty fortunate because that gives me access to this wonderful fruit production that we've got going on here. So Eastern burning bush produces little flowers in the spring. They're only about a third of an inch or so across. They're perfect flowers and they'll have four petals. They're purple and they're really hard to see. Um, in the fall, this time of year, we're in about mid-October, you're gonna see these fruits that are produced. There are four capsules. They're kind of a light pink color. They can't even almost be pure white. And then here in a bit, in a few weeks, they'll pop open revealing the bright red seeds and fruit, or the bright red fruit, which have the seeds inside. So again, it's a wonderful plant. The, the flowers and fruit are worth having. It adds some really nice diversity to your landscape. It's found throughout the state of Ohio. It's, it's definitely more of a northern euonymus than, than the strawberry bush that I pointed out the other day. Not super common. A lot of times we're going to find it along road edges or places like this where it gets some partial light. Um, just one of my favorite species. Again, eastern burning bush or wahoo. Thank you so much for your time and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.